So now that your home page is ready to go, let's practice adding another page. So on the left hand side, you'll see pages. Click on that. Because I only have one page, that page popped up right here. Click on view all pages right above it. If you have pages you created before, you'll see those populate here. For me, this is the only page I've created. You have a couple of different ways to add pages. You can either duplicate the page that we've already created with a beautiful banner up at the top, or you can click plus page and you have total control. So depending on your comfort, you decide. I'm gonna show you how to duplicate. So clicking on these three dots next to the page that we already had, I'm gonna click duplicate. All right, so here it is. When I click on it, I'll be able to edit it the same way I could with my home page. Just make sure, same button, edit button up at the top right hand corner. So when you're creating this page, just think about it as content that you're curating for your students. So you may wanna have this by modules or units, um, big questions, it's really up to you. I'm gonna go by units. And I'm going to use the district's curriculum plan to help me. So I already found the unit one overview. I know the title right here. So I could come over here and type in or copy and paste it in the title. Of course, the T got left behind. There we go. Um, you could shorten it so that, again, it's easy, recognizable. Maybe I want to put that up here as well. Maybe I want to bold it. Again, you have all of these editing features to make it look nice, make it be what you want it to be. Um, one thing I like to always do is to include the big ideas and essential questions for my students. So I'm gonna just come over here, cut and paste. The great thing about this is, again, you have the ability to curate for your students. You can add pictures, you can add videos, all of that good stuff right in your page. And the wonderful thing about using Canvas pages is the fact that you already have some accessibility features built in. So your students have immersive reader if they struggle with reading. So that's just one of the, the big benefits of being able to use Canvas pages. When you're done, Click Save and Publish. This is what it looks like. If I wanted to see all of my pages, I'm gonna click at View All Pages. And you see both of them are published because they have the green check. Um, and now I'm ready to add more pages as needed.